Number 72. What volume of O2 at STP is required to oxidize 8.0 liters of NO at STP to NO2? And then the second question is, what volume of NO2 is produced at STP? All right, so the first thing is that I see that we're looking for a volume of O2, and they're telling us information about another compound. So whenever they're giving us information about one thing, and they're asking us about another compound, in this case the molecule O2, I first have to write a balanced equation. Now, they do say that oxygen is required to oxidize NO to produce or come to NO2. So it seems that these two come together to form NO2. So I have O2 plus NO yields NO2. Now remember, just writing the equation, just make sure that it's balanced. To me, it doesn't look like it's balanced. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to balance the equation. You could always pause the video to try to balance it yourself and then see if the answer your answer matches mine. I'm going to go a little bit fast because we already did a whole chapter on learning how to balance equations. So the first thing I'm going to do is I see that I have two oxygens and I have three total oxygens on one side. So I'm just going to guess and check. I'm going to put a two in front of here. That will get me to two nitrogens on both sides. And because of doing that, the oxygens balance out themselves. So this is the balance equation. So now let's just write out what we got. We have NO, 8.0 liters, so I have 8.0 liters of NO. And the question is asking for what's the volume of O2? So I'm looking for the volume of O2. So now, when you're at the same temperature and pressure, remember STP means standard temperature and pressure. They're both at STP, so we're not changing conditions here. So when this happens, the easiest thing to do is we're going to treat the mole ratio and let it equal our volume ratio. Maybe I'll put a V ratio here. But we're going to just basically treat these as if they were mole values and convert from liter to liter. So let's go for it. We have 8.0 liters of NO times by the ratio, put the liter of NO at the bottom. Now in this case, we want to solve for the volume. If this is in liters, this has to be in liters as well. So I'm going to say liters of O2. Now the question is, what are the numbers that go here, right? We'll treat it as a mole ratio. Mole ratios, we always look at the coefficients. So for example, there was nothing in front of the O2 but that's just mean that there was one of them. So I'm going to put a 1 in front of the O2. There was a 2 in front of the NO, so I'm going to put a 2 down here. The liters cancel out, and now all I have to do is literally 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I have 4.0 liters of O2, and that answers the first question. Okay. Now the second question says, what's the volume of NO2? at the same temperature and pressure. They're all at STP. So we could do the same thing. I guess I'll start with the NO. 8.0 liters of NO. It's always good to start with the number that they gave you because you know if you accidentally got this incorrect, you don't want to perpetuate another incorrect value. So always just start again with what they gave you. Liters of NO go on the bottom. And now, liters, the volume of NO2, go on the top. Use the ratios, right? What's the number that goes? Maybe I'll put this in a different color. We'll do blue and blue. So NO2, there was a 2 in the front. So that's the number that I'm going to use here. And for NO, there was a 2. So this, essentially, if we cancel this out, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So this is the same number. So 8.0 liters of NO2. And there you go. So these were pretty easy. Just use those, you know, quote unquote mole ratios. 
if they're under the same conditions, all right? But if they're under different conditions, you got to do PV equals NRT, and we've done those a couple of times in the previous questions, all right? So hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope we're giving you good educational content. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I really do appreciate appreciate you all, and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.